pá, vamos nessa e vamos esperar que não. Vamos esperar que não embaci totalmente. Ah, ai, foda olha, né? Deixa-me só enquanto me preparo. Também vai ser editado depois. Pero tchau. I hope that with me talking the rain doesn't stand out as, as loud as that. So I need to have that open, otherwise it will just be unbearable and a camera will not cooperate with me. So, hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. And today, with a little, a little tiny bit of a delay, I bring to you this week's chapter of Fairy Tale, of its name, Luxus vs. Vol. And, first of all, sorry about the delay, I had a few problems with the recording software I used on the first video of the channel. Uh, first it was free, then it was not, and I just won't buy the, the program because I have a camera, I'm using it right now, of course. I hope the image is a little bit better, the sound as well. If you hear rain pouring, then I am sorry. It's it's not raining a lot, but it's like that incessant water dropping that it's kind of annoying. So if you hear that, I am sorry, but I need to keep the window open, otherwise the camera will just blur the image and condensation and all that nonsense. You know how it is. So if you hear raining noise, I am sorry, but without further ado, enough blabbering about. Let's start with the chapter, shall we? Laxus versus Vol. The chapter begins right after last week's punch to the face by Mr. Laxus to Mr. Vol. Vol just goes flying into the atmosphere. Not really, but all great stories need some embezzlement now, don't they? Laxus, uh, Laxus, Vol counterattacks with alchemically created bullets. Very interesting magic, I will love to see more of that in the upcoming chapters. But bullets, poof, against Laxus, they are literally nothing. Because as the bullets charge in, in Laxus direction, a giant thunderbolt rages from the sky, thus stopping the bullets, obviously. And as the thunder drops, the action cuts, and we go to Juvia's Gray, Juvia, Gray, and Leon's group. As Juvia and Gray defeat with the combined attack, a love combined attack, defeat a bunch of soldiers from the Alvarez Empire, and another cut, and the action goes back to Laxus and Vol. As Vol begins his analysis of Laxus and his weaknesses because that's his magic, it's literally called weakness. And he discovers the anti-magic particles, and as his organs are completely rigged with those. He asks how can he be alive, is he even human if he is alive? Laxus spouts that it's not about how I am alive, it's how I live from now on. We know how it is, fairy tale has a lot of that. This talk during fights about friendship, family and will, power and all that, all those things. We know and love, that's why we read fairy tale. And a clash, some punches are traded. And the, if the chapter loads, the action cuts back to the Battle of Argion, where Erzas and Kagur's group are, once again, fending off the Alvarez soldiers. And as Kagura and Erza prepare to charge forward, because it so appears that yet another member of the Springman 12 is awaiting them in Argion. I've seen some people speculating that it might be Nyheart or Ninhart or Ninehart. I don't know how his name is spelled, I, I forgot about him. Some people are speculating that it might be him because he has not appeared yet and he can be powerful enough to fight them both. So, yeah. Another cut, this time we go to the Sky Sisters side, Shelia and Wendy and Charla as well, as they discuss, discuss, well, as they talk with the Maria. The Maria mocks them actually for being kids, and this is a battlefield and not a playground for kids. 
But Wendy doesn't care and she stands around as it should and she prepares to fight her alongside her sister, Shelly, uh, see, yes, Shelly. And Di Marie says, well, I ain't gonna go easy on you. And thus another battle commences. And as another commences, the former one rages on. Laxus and Val are still at an impasse. But Val seems to be gaining some ground over Laxus. Which is a bit worrying. The city just gets completely destroyed. Spinning air wheel kick by Laxus. And now things get serious because analysis complete. Vol has finished his analysis on Laxus and is now set on preparing himself to fight him. And my god, estimated time frame for complete annihilation 90 seconds. He plans or he thinks he can exterminate Laxus exterminate in a minute and a half. Now if that ain't presumption, I don't know what it is. And thus the chapter ends with a big explosion in the sky. Everyone in the battlefield sees the explosion. And at the worst possible time, as it is with these kind of things, Laxus has another heart attack. And Vol is completed with his assault form ready to exterminate Laxus and as the chapter ends like that with the author asking or the narrator is this how the curtain closes and I ask you do you think it is? Will this battle be Laxus last battle? Will we see the first death with the Alvarez confrontation? Will we see Will we see the first death of this confrontation? And will it be on, my, on, on the good guy's side? Or on both sides, I hope. If he dies, let him at least take someone with him. The name of the next chapter, Red Lightning, suggests a power-up. So now, I ask you, Red, I think of two things. Flames, of course. Could Luxus have consumed Natsu's, Natsu's flames? one year ago or whatever it was or blood this I don't really support this idea a lot this is something I thought you know red blood lightning blood blood lightning I don't know I'm betting on the flames that by some way um, Laxus had absorbed has absorbed Naxus, Naxus flames or you will absorb some kind of flame from Val or I don't know, I'm expecting a power-up from Laxus, some kind of a last stand. And I mean last stand not as in dying, I do not want Laxus to die, of course. He's my favorite character, so it would be bad for him to die. Like that. But yes, he will not have an easy battle ahead of him. He's already not having an easy battle. So, yeah, I. that's it for the chapter. It was a... Pretty good chapter, it was well balanced between action and conversation. Few things were set up for the future chapters. Not much was closed. That remains to be seen in the next in the upcoming chapters. So tell me what you think. What do you think about the chapter? Did you like it? Did you not? And as well, what uh, what do you think about the video, about my performance? Once again. As I, as I said, the comment section below is yours to use and abuse at your own free will. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Once again, I'm sorry for the delay of the chapter. Uh, as a sort of a compensation, I'll try to put out two videos today. This one and the Seven Deadly Sins one, which also released on Monday. And I'll try to keep a more steady stream of content. I'll try, try at least a video a day. My my sem my semester begins next week, so yeah, nine to five schedule. It's going to be hard to balance, but I'll try my best. My internship my internship will begin, and yeah, nine to five schedule. It's going to break up things a little bit. The videos will start to come out a bit later in the day, 
and I'll try to get a video a day at least. So yeah, that's it for, for now. I'll see you soon in the video of Seven Deadly Sins. Bye. And I hope the camera didn't blur the image again.